Okay guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the HGLRC XJB F428 and that's these two components here. You get a uh, 4 and 1 uh, 28 amp ESC. This is a Beale Heli S ESC. Uh, D-Shot 600 cable and you get the F4 flight controller. Uh, you can get this separately. This happens to all come together with the XJB TX20 and that's this video transmitter unit. It's called the XJB TX20 and this one has is a power switchable video transmitter unit that goes as a third stack on, on this 20 by 20 uh, setup here. Uh, these two components here will go together using these pins here. There's pins on the ESC that go into the flight controller so they're actually they go together in a certain way and there's a certain distance between the boards and you it does come with these M2 standoffs that you're going to have to use. Uh, there are no pins that go between the flight controller and the video uh, transmitter. You have to use some wires to solder the video transmitter to the board and there's certain pads on here. Um, let's see if, I'm not really sure if this is going to come out on the camera or not. The letters are so tiny but you got basically you got 5 volts video out ground over here and then you have voltage in and ground over here. That's going to be uh, the battery power coming in from the flight board and I think uh, well, this goes out um, or this, this is video out that goes to the board, the flight controller board and on the flight controller it's a little hard to see here but there's going to be inputs here for your V, uh, there's plus V, VTX and then there's inputs here for your camera, 5 volts and your camera. I'm actually just going to put a diagram up here which is uh, depicts all the wiring connections on this board because it's really complicated. Uh, I'm just going to stick that here right now so you guys can see that's going to be high resolution and it'll be very clear because it's really hard to point out all the different pads just by pointing with my finger and this thing is, you know, my finger's too big for this so I'm just going to show you the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and I'll assemble this all together with the standoffs that are included. Obviously there's different ways you could put this together uh, with you know other types of screws and nuts and stuff that aren't included. Uh, by the way there's no wires included for this but I'll be using my own wire to wire up the video transmitter to the flight controller and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like fully assembled. I'll give you some size and dimensions and weights so you guys can know if this will fit into your build. Okay so this is how I have the video transmitter wired up here to the flight controller and you just have the video in and out over here from the video transmitter to here and that goes to the OSD and then you got your power goes there and then your ground goes there uh, these pads over here for your receiver and then this is just going to sit on top you have to kind of get the wires underneath it's going to sit on top like this and on the other side over here, this is where these three leads go to your camera. The OSD chip is on the bottom side of the flight controller board and I think the only thing else underneath there is the black box chip, the data flash chip, and the uh, voltage regulator. So that's pretty much, it's pretty clean and then you can see right there that the, these two boards are connected through those six pins right there. This is just like a lot of the other uh, XJB uh, power cubes. Just this one has a video transmitter, and then this will sit on nicely on top. Actually, sorry, I got to put the other standoffs on here. Forgot to do that, so I'm going to put these standoffs on here, and then we'll screw that down, and it should sit like well, it'll sit straight here once I get that straight, and then you just have to stick on your little micro FL connector here. And probably need to secure that somehow hot glue or something because these things tend to pop off. And if you don't like the whip antenna, you could probably get a uh, circular polarized antenna, or they even have they even make uh, these antennas with like axi uh, pol circular polarized antennas as well. They're, they're like a lot more expensive. So different options here available to you for for those. And then for the little indicator, there's a button here somewhere right there. I'll let you change your bands and channels. And so let me go ahead and I'll finish sticking this on and then I'll give you some measurements. Okay, so here it is what it should look like. 
obviously everything except for the antenna. I uh, will pop that onto the scale here, but give you some measurements on how tall this is. I'm sure a lot of you are curious. So I did get some questions about uh, whether this would fit in a build or not. So from the bottom to the top, and I'm not going. To, I'm going to include the top of the screws of the standoff there. It's 23.1 millimeters from top to bottom. And obviously here it's going to be like around 20 by 20, but let's measure this. This is the flight controller, 25.2 this way, and it's probably going to be about the same this way. There's the USB port there, so it's a little bit longer this way. And then obviously on the ESCs it's going to be wider where the motor wires connect to it. It's 31.3. And on this, on this side you got the tab where the uh, power comes out over there, the, your power lead, that's going to be 31.7. I think that covers all of the dimensions. That's going to wait it now. So put this on here with the antenna that it comes in, it's 12.71 grams. Oh, and by the way, I think I did mention it, but it is power switchable from 0, 25, 100, and 250 milliwatts. And I don't have no idea why they chose 250 milliwatts instead of 200 milliwatts, but that's what they did, so that's what you get. So, um, if you're looking for an all-in-one solution with some, you know, beefy ESCs, 28, 28 amp 4-in-1 ESC here, it does 2 to 4S, this is, this is going to be your power keep, I think, until something better comes along. It's all-in-one all solution, so. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. I hope this guy, little video helped you guys out in, make, in terms of making your decision about whether or not you want to get this power keep for your build. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.